People sometimes refer to the business climate, but it's time to talk about the business of climate. Because there is no doubt that we are already experiencing dramatic cost implications resulting from extreme weather events. And they are unquestionably on the rise, both in frequency and severity. Recognizing this challenge, 197 nations forged the 2015 Paris Agreement to combat global climate change. Their goal? Limit global temperature rise to no more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. How does the 2 degrees threshold translate in terms of greenhouse gas emissions? Consider this analogy. Imagine a bathtub is filling with water. The fill line represents the 2 degrees threshold. The water represents global cumulative greenhouse gas emissions since the industrial age. Today, this bathtub is about three quarters full. At our current rate of global greenhouse gas emissions, we only have 18 years remaining before the bathtub overflows. Unpriced climate risks in the capital markets could cause global financial stability concerns. However, in order to make the transition to a low-carbon economy envisioned by the Paris Agreement, public and private sectors must contribute substantial funds. In his capacity as chair of the Financial Stability Board, Mark Carney calls climate change the tragedy of the horizon. In response, he established the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures with a goal of supporting efficient capital allocation in the transition to a low-carbon economy. Led by Michael Bloomberg, the TCFD has developed voluntary recommendations on climate-related information that companies should disclose in mainstream financial filings. The recommendations are designed by the market for the market in order to help investors, lenders, and others make sound financial decisions in a changing world. Aside from the bigger picture, why does climate-related financial disclosure matter right now? One of our businesses is property casualty insurance, and there's no doubt in our minds that we are seeing uh, an impact from climate change. The biggest opportunity in implementing the TCFD recommendations is really to start the dialogue internally uh, within your organization in terms of what impact does climate change have on the risk profile of our business. By adopting TCFD recommendations, Companies in every sector are providing decision-useful information. Really at the heart, they ensure better disclosure, more transparency. And as a large institutional investor, it's critical that we have a good lens on environmental issues that can impact investments both now in the short term and in the longer term. These recommendations go a long way to make all of our investment decisions more robust and more transparent. It is absolutely crucial for companies to begin integrating climate risk into their reporting and disclosure processes. Under Canadian securities regulations, public companies must already disclose information on material environmental matters, including consideration of climate-related issues. Fortunately, TCFD recommendations are designed to assist with exactly that. Rather than reinventing the wheel, they build upon existing disclosure practices to avoid additional reporting burden on companies. CPA Canada supports the recommendations and the move towards better disclosures. Visit our website to find out more about the TCFD and how you can get involved with CPA Canada's ongoing efforts.